from the category of truly bizarre, a uh, bizarre theory now from the Afghan president, Hamid Karzai. According to the Washington Post, Karzai is said to uh, suspect U.S. involvement in recent terror attacks in that country as a way to draw attention away from civilian casualties caused by U.S. airstrikes. And John Bolton is the former U ambassador to the U.N. and a Fox News contributor. And, sir, good morning to you from from Florida, you, I mean, you've seen this stuff before. You've dealt with this in your role as a diplomat. What are you to make of a claim like this? Well, there's not much you can say about it that's diplomatic, really. It uh, verges on delusional and certainly conspiratorial. And, and uh, you have to wonder what Karzai's motive is here, because what he's basically accusing the United States of doing is conspiring with the Taliban against him. And that uh, has to be about as far from reality as you can get. Now, you make a, a bigger claim than that. You told our producers this is a mark of a government collapsing. Well, I think it is. I think this is the sort of behavior that you see in uh, governments that know that they're in their final days. And yet it comes at the same time Karzai will not sign the equivalent of a status of forces agreement with the United States that would at least keep 10,000 Americans there. So I think this kind of erratic behavior is uh, w whether you want to get into personal psychology or whether it's just political fear uh, is very disturbing, bo both for the Afghan national government and for the United States. Our, our ambassador there in Kabul put out a statement, uh, or at least according to the Washington Post, this is what he said in reading now, a deeply conspiratorial view that's divorced from reality. Uh, it flies in the face of logic and morality to think that we would aid the enemy we're trying to defeat. One of the allegations he makes is that the United States blew up that Lebanese restaurant in Kabul, which is where all the Westerners yeah. go, and three Americans were killed as a result. When you think about that on its face, Mr. Ambassador, how do you deal with this man? How do you work with this man? Well, I'm, I'm not sure that we can anymore, and, and uh, it really points to the mistake that we made in, in personalizing Karzai as the head of the Afghan government, and I think more broadly to think we could construct much of an Afghan government to begin with. Uh, we're not there to build the Afghan nation. If they can't do it, they're on their own. But we do have key American interests there in keeping the Taliban and al-Qaeda from coming back to power. And Karzai's behavior for quite some time uh, has hampered and indeed uh, made that effort uh, harder and harder. Now, wh why is he trying to squeeze us? I mean, what, what, what do you think well, is behind I that? I think he's very worried that uh, that his regime's days are numbered, and he thinks by putting pressure on the United States, he can get more concessions out of us. But, you know, after all the years we've worked with President Karzai to see this kind of behavior either indicates he never understood us from the beginning, or, and I don't mean to disparage the man, but there's some psychological problem going on here. Well, you're not the only one who has suggested that in the past. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. There's also this story about the releasing of detainees in Afghanistan which is really a rub for the U.S. military fighting over there. Thank you, sir. John Bolton in Florida today. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Bill.